Hello, this is Dr. Robert Teal, and I'd like to talk to you about biofilm detox. Biofilm? What's that? Detoxification? Why do you want to detox by biofilms? Well, what I'd like to do, to start off with, is to actually read some information from four published Medline journals to give you kind of a scientific background and basis to understand what biofilms are. So, let me read some of these. Microorganisms attach to surfaces and develop biofilms. A biofilm is an assemblage of surface-associated microbial cells that's enclosed in an extracellular polymeric substance matrix. Biofilm accounts for 65 to 80 percent of microbial infections in humans. Let me read that one again. Biofilm accounts for 65 to 80 percent of microbial infections in humans. I'll read from another study for paper. Candida albicans also form biofilms, organized and tightly packed communities of cells attached to a solid surface. Biofilms colonize many niches of the human body and persist on implanted medical devices, which, where they are a major cause of new Candida albicans infections. We read something else. Urinary tract infections are involved in bio, with biofilm. So you've got a lot of things that are affected by biofilms, both like fungal situations, infections, and bacterial infections involve biofilms. So why would we want a product like biofilm detox? Well, for example, one of the ingredients in this is beta-glucanase, and it actually degrades uh, fungal cell walls to help clear up biofilm. It also has cellulase, which is an enzyme, of course, that breaks down cellulose, and the cell walls of fungi, like candida, are made of cellulose. And it also helps increase the breakdown of biofilms. Now there's also something in here called DPP4, which stands for dipeptyl peptidase 4. And it's found to inhibit the production of certain biofilms. This product also contains uh, echinacea for immune support. It's also got endopeptase, which basically helps break things down as well. It's also got garlic for immune support. It's also got glycoholamase. It's also got golden seal, which contains berberine, and that's been helpful to reduce biofilm. It's also got grapefruit seed extract, hemicellulase, which of course breaks down hemicellulose, and basically that helps with uh, biofilms associated with uh, candida. Also, has many other things in it. For example, there's milk thistle in it, which contains silymarin, and it's been found to have inhibitory properties when it goes to preventing biofilm. It's also got things like uh, pectinase in it, various proteolytic enzymes, serpeptase, as well as, for example, shiitake mushrooms, which actually have immune supporting properties, as well as anti-biofilm properties. As, and in addition, it's got, for example, wild oregano. We've been using this product clinically uh, for a great period of time here. Uh, we've got the product uh, uh, let sometime in 2018. We've had really good success with it. If you're a natural health practitioner and you run into people with some situations that are long standing and you haven't thought about this or, you, or if you wonder about biofilm, I would strongly urge you to try biofilm detox. We've had it help people that we didn't think would possibly help. So for, if you're considering dealing with issues that could be associated with various infections that produce biofilm, consider biofilm detox.